Sometimes when a customer moves to us, they don't yet want to point the domain name to us, or if they've just registered a domain name, it hasn't started working yet. So what they want to do is they want to preview their site before it's live on our systems, and that's really easy. So what we've got here is a site I've been working on, tsotraining.co.uk, but actually, let's go and add a new site, one that doesn't point to our systems, and never will. Let's just make up a random domain. Let's make up, just, I'm going to put a squiggle like that, and even with a, an extension that doesn't exist. So let's add this. This will take a couple of seconds to add to the system, but clearly, there's no way that this ifyghk domain um, will ever really exist. So it's never going to work by me putting that in a web browser. That's never going to go to this hosting because there's no way that I could register that domain name. So it's an example of what it would be like if you had a domain somewhere else that wasn't pointing to us or if you had a domain which you wanted to develop but you hadn't yet registered the domain. Clearly, going to it, it's not going to work. I'm going to get an error. So what do I do? What I do is I go website preview and I enable a preview. So what happens now is instead of that domain not working, I can go to this preview URL and I see it. That means I can work on my website even though the domain doesn't point to us. Just to recap, that is under the control panel, then under basic management tools, I click website preview and then this tab here, website preview, enable preview and then it gives me a link. There's one other thing I just want to give you an example of and that's if you install WordPress with us and WordPress uh, might not work so well on that preview URL. Let me give you an example. I'm just going to install it. It's a new domain, so let's install WordPress. We'll install it just by default as the default settings. Give this a couple of seconds. And it's installed. You can see it's given us the URL where it would be on that domain. It's given us a username and a password for the install. So let's uh, just copy that just in case we need it. But obviously, if we went to this, we wouldn't get anything. However, if we go to the preview URL, which we've got here, we'll see the WordPress site, but something doesn't look right. And I'll go a little bit technical now and just show you why. If we go to the source of this page, you'll see that it tries to load things like the CSS and the JavaScript, which is what builds the page, or the, all, the, all the content and the, the meat behind the page, from the actual domain name, which, which just doesn't work. So we go back to the control panel, we go to the website preview page again, again, basic management tools, website preview, then we now go WordPress preview. In this drop down, it's detected our WordPress installs. We want to go to this one, which we've got in the root, and we click go. What that does is it updates the WordPress URLs. So now WordPress runs perfectly on the preview URL. And just to prove it to you, technically, if I go view page source, now you'll see that all of these CSS and JavaScript links, they all include the full grid hosted preview URL. So that's a way that you can develop your WordPress site when you go to the admin area, for example, you can develop that WordPress site perfectly on the preview URL. And when you're ready, you just go to settings, then you go general, and you'd say, right, I no longer want to use that grid hosted URL. Actually, I want to now go to my actual domain again, save changes. And now, of course, it doesn't work because the domain isn't live, but that's it. That's just how simple it is to get building a site with us, even though the domain not, might, might not point to us. Thanks.